Hi guys! Today we will make our first sensor board for MIPR. It will consist of two resistors, two light dependent resistors and some headers. This will allow us to sense light levels around MIPR. We will then use this information to make MIPR avoid, or seek light. This is a piece of perf board that I have drilled some holes in for the caster wheel and rounded off the edges with some scissors. This is a caster wheel. I will first add the auxiliary connector so we can connect the sensor board to MIPR. The auxiliary connector contains 14 pins and will carry all data to and from the sensor board. It also carries 5 volts in the ground. Ensure that you place the connector correctly. If misplaced it will not click into MIPR and you will have to reposition it. Now we will add the light dependent resistors. These will detect the light and vary their resistance in accordance with the light levels detected. We will then add some 2.2 kilo ohm resistors and create a voltage divider. The resistance of this voltage divider will depend on the light level detected by the LDRs. We will use the 5 volts to feed into the voltage divider and connect the voltage divider's output to pins A1 and A2 on the burn. This detected voltage will then be used to directly drive the robot's motors. We could create this functionality without a microcontroller. All we would need to do is to connect pins I2A and I3A to 5 volts and pins I1A and I4A to ground and connect the LDR's output to each enable pin on the motor driver. For light seeking mode we would connect the left LDR to the right enable pin and the right LDR to the left enable pin. To turn it into a light avoider we would swap the enable pins around. Now we will add a 5 pin male header so we can connect the odometry module. This data will pass through the sensor board into MIPR. We will now connect all of the components together. Use a schematic to guide you through this. As you can see the sensor board is far simpler than the robot and the battery board that we built earlier. This is why this design is so good. Once the complex robot is built you can add functionality by creating new sensor boards. These sensor boards are usually simpler than the robot. This is how the pins are connected, 
You can see how the 5 volts in ground is connected and how the output of the voltage dividers is connected to the pins on the auxiliary connector. I will now add the caster wheel and attach the sensor board and the burn. I use M2.5 screws to secure the sensor board. This is what the finished robot with the sensor board attached looks like. If you want to see the robot in action check out the next video in this video series where I show the sensor board being used with on-screen telemetry. You can also change MIPR's mode of operation from light seeker to light avoider or just remote controlled. To see how to do this go to leet.uk forward slash MIPR. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you next time.